Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to the video. In this video, I'll essentially discuss top five essential AWS skills for data engineer. So basically working as a data engineer uh, with AWS could be a great way to leverage cloud computing to build a data solution. So in this video, I'm gonna be discussing top five services or skills that a data engineer should have when working with AWS. So let's get started with the video. So the number one service I have for you is Amazon S3, simple storage service. So as a data engineer, it is very important that you learn about Amazon S3. Amazon S3 is an object store, which is used to insert and retrieve objects literally at any scale in a cost-effective ma manner. So as a data engineer, you can learn about how to create buckets, how to insert, delete, you know, basic CRUD operation, setting up lifecycle policy, versioning in S3, and also about file format. Understanding the cost structure would also really help. So S3 is definitely something all data engineers should consider, uh, you know, a learning. The second service I have for you guys is today is AWS Glue. That is correct, AWS Glue. So AWS Glue is a fully managed ETL service, basically extract, transform, and load, which helps you to prepare and transform data for data analysis. Now, while learning Glue, uh, you can essentially uh, either use a visual uh, builder to essentially write ETL scripts or you can write Spark jobs as well. So in Glue, you want to consider writing ETL, PySpark is you know, something that you want to learn or maybe Scala while writing uh, ETL scripts. Uh, also, you want to learn how to crawl data, how to catalog data, how to partition your data, right? What is the best file format that you want to use, right? So these are some of the uh, items you might want to consider when essentially learning about AWS Glue. Additionally, you might want to consider also how to monitor the Glue jobs, right? How to receive alerts when a Glue job fail, orchestrating your Glue jobs are something that you might want to consider while learning AWS Glue. As a small tip, if you're gonna work with Glue, also learning about data lakes is one of the most important skills to have. Or let me rephrase basically using or building transactional data lakes uh, because uh, you know data lakes often are you know have challenges. For example, duplicates, right? Uh, performing an update or deleting data for governance purposes. So learning about transactional data lakes will really, really help you as a data engineer as well. The next service I have for you guys is AWS Lambda functions. So AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that can run your code in response to event. As a data engineer, it is very important that you can basically write simple Lambda functions. And of course, once you know the, how to write a Lambda function, you might wanna consider uh, how can you use external packages, right? Like NumPy, Pandas on, on, on a Lambda function, right? Once you know that, now dive a little deeper into the advanced setting if needed. For example, reserved concurrency, provision concurrency, right? Uh, basically, lambda power tuning, right? So learn about these stuff. Right? Uh, learn about these things. For example, when a lambda function fails, okay, how would I retry, right? Uh, how would I capture these error messages? Logging, right? These are some of the things that you want to consider while learning AWS Lambda. The next service I have for you guys in the list is. AWS Kinesis, that is right. AWS Kinesis is a managed streaming solution by AWS that can be used to essentially process real-time streaming data. As a data engineer, it is very important that you learn how to process real-time streaming data. So basically, you might want to consider how can you attach a Lambda function with a Kinesis and process real-time data. So essentially having a little bit knowledge on Kinesis, for example, shards, how to set up a Kinesis stream, right? How to consume the streaming data would really, really help you. So I would say having a good knowledge on Kinesis would definitely help you guys. The last option I have chose, uh, it, it may depend and vary, is AWS EMR, that is correct. So when it comes to processing data at a massive scale, petabyte scale, having a good hands-on experience on EMR would be a nice to have. Now, AWS does have EMR managed version where you can select how many uh, you know, workers you want uh, or you can go for a serverless version, which is EMR serverless. So having a good uh, knowledge on how to basically deploy scripts, how to essentially run jobs on EMR would be a really good um, uh, skill to have. So I would really say if you want to go into big data and if you are looking into going into data engineering, 
EMR is a really, really good uh, skill to have um, uh, uh, in the top five list. So again, these are my top five skills to have for data engineer. Let me know your thoughts and uh, what, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what are the skills other than these top five a person should have? I'll just repeat uh, or I'll just conclude the video here. So the number one skill that I essentially said was Amazon S3, then AWS Glue. In Glue, you wanna make sure you understand the basic and the advanced part. And also, of course, building transactional lakes, partitioning, uh, various file formats. Then uh, we talked about AWS Lambda functions, right? Uh, then we also talked about AWS EMR. Thank you so much for watching the video and let me know your uh, favorite skills that a person should have while considering data, data engineer uh, position. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.